Today, we are going to be discussing Liv Morgan and Becky Lynch's matchup for the Women's World Championship at King and Queen of the Ring, while also probably months in advance, talking about the inevitable Rhea Ripley return, fantasy booking it a bit, and how I think it could be one of the coolest moments in Monday Night Raw history. So first things first, let's talk about Liv Morgan versus Becky Lynch for the Women's World Championship. Now, we have discussed Liv Morgan and her potential heel turn and her winning the Women's World Championship for quite some time now. And we have seen more and more each week Liv Morgan tap into that heel side that she's obviously going to full, go, go, go to be full-fledged if not already. But I think the final nail in the coffin per se is when Liv Morgan either A, wins the Women's World Championship by maybe cheating to do so, or B as they very subtly have been teasing, steals Dominic Mysterio away from Rhea Ripley while Rhea Ripley's on the shelf. One of those two things is going to happen. If I mean, I think both of them are going to happen, but which one happens first remains to be seen. One of those, though, probably going to be that final now that fully turns Liv Morgan heel. But again, she's basically kind of there already. She's right at the finish line. She just needs to cross it. Just last week on Raw, she is on the verge of a Becky Lynch, or, or with Becky Lynch, on the verge of a damage control beatdown, and Liv Morgan just gets the hell out of here. And that's a very heel thing to do. She's like, I ain't fighting this fight. Becky, go and get your ass beat. I'm out of here. And you know, one thing I did say... Uh, recently on the channel is I wouldn't have had Liv Morgan fight Becky Lynch for the Women's World Championship until Liv Morgan's winning the title. But they went right into it. Becky won the Women's Battle Royal and then Liv Morgan's getting her matchup in less than three weeks at King and Queen of the Ring. Now listen, Liv could be winning the championship in Saudi Arabia and it could just be a short reign for Becky Lynch. I'd have no problem with that. I think more likely though, Becky's going to retain the title. I'm not saying Liv's not going to win. I think it's kind of a 50-50 shot, but just one of those gut feelings is telling me that Becky Lynch is not going to lose this Women's World Championship so soon, especially because one of the underlining stories to Becky versus Liv is that Liv has never beaten Becky Lynch, as they have now mentioned on television, and Becky Lynch has really gotten Liv Morgan out of her way on more than one occasion this year, beating her in the Elimination Chamber, eliminating her from the Women's Royal, or, or Women's Battle Royal on Raw a few weeks ago, excuse me, beat her one-on-one -on, -one on the road to WrestleMania. Like, every time Liv Morgan's right there, right about to be on the cusp of great things, Becky Lynch stops her dead in her tracks. And I don't think Liv Morgan's going to overcome that obstacle just yet, mostly because of how soon we are getting this matchup after Becky has won the title. Now, again, I could be wrong, but I could also just see some shenanigans, maybe with Damage Control getting involved in the matchup, and maybe Damage Control starting to uh, uh, call out or challenge or target, whichever word you want to use, Becky Lynch, and maybe that shenanigans is going to cost Liv Morgan unintentionally the matchup at King and Queen of the Ring, and giving Liv Morgan all the more fuel to eventually challenge Becky Lynch again for the title. Now, I will also briefly mention on top of that, you know, I'm picking Becky Lynch as of right now for the matchup in Saudi. That's what my gut's telling me, and I'm, my gut's also telling me maybe some shenanigans in that matchup. At the same time, though, Liv Morgan absolutely is going to win that Women's World Championship eventually. Liv Morgan is absolutely going to be the one in my eyes to defeat Becky Lynch, just as I think she was going to be the one to defeat Rhea Ripley in the coming time before Rhea Ripley got her. And if they would like Liv Morgan to have a couple of month reign as the women's world champion before Rhea Ripley comes back and maybe gets her retribution by winning back the gold she never lost, well then putting the title on Liv Morgan now for Rhea Ripley to come back maybe after SummerSlam sometime in the fall, whenever it's going to be, but that is kind of the presumption out there, at least from what I've seen, that maybe Liv Morgan does win the title at King and Queen of the Ring. And I will say, before I get into the whole Rhea Ripley idea that I would love to see, and it's just kind of a minute idea, but Liv Morgan winning the Women's World Championship and then stealing Dominic Mysterio away fully. All the while, there's also just some a little bit of chaos going on in the Judgment Day locker room. Like, they might have hashed it out in a sense last week, and like they always do, and everything's fine and dandy, but another issue is going to occur. Or, hell, Carlito ca came into the locker room thanks to Dominic Mysterio last week, and they were just, Damian Priest is like, dude, another one? How many people are you going to start bringing in here? We're obviously going to continue to see dissension within the judgment day and we have talked about it separately but Damian Priest Finn Balor whether it's for the world title or not I can absolutely see that matchup happening at SummerSlam or at least sometime before the end of the year absolutely so the judgment day's days most likely definitely numbered and Dominic Mysterio obviously not going to be coming out of that group 
a babyface. Dominic standing alongside Liv as Liv is the women's world champion. And Liv truly taking everything away from Rhea Ripley is exactly what the story calls for. Is exactly what they are leading towards if you are watching the television and paying attention each and every week on Raw. And it's only going to make Rhea Ripley's comeback and Rhea Ripley's star that much bigger. You know, last week on Raw, we saw the segment between Becky Lynch and Liv Morgan, and then Damage Control came out to interrupt, and as they were about to beat down both women, as I mentioned earlier, Liv Morgan fleed the ring, and Lyra Valkyria, making her Monday Night Raw debut, was the one that made the save, and I love that, by the way. As I mentioned in uh, last week's live stream, and I also cut it out and posted it as a video over the weekend, Lyra Valkyria, look out for her. I think she could be a huge potential winner for the Queen of the Ring. Tiffany Stratton up there, Io Sky up there. We'll see what happens tonight on Raw, but Le Lyra Valkyria, I'm going to assume, going to take down Zoe Stark and make her way to the semifinals next week. But the reason I mention all that is you got Becky Lynch, you got Lyra Valkyria, you got Damage Control, you got Liv. I think all of these women could really be surrounding each other over the next few months, with obviously the main target being the Women's World Championship. Io Sky wanting her crack at the gold, Lyra Valkyria trying to play defense alongside Becky Lynch. Maybe all the while she won Queen of the Ring, and Lyra's kind of also looking at a shot at the Women's World Championship. Liv Morgan, obviously we just talked about her, and this is kind of going regardless of who's the Women's World Champion, by the way. And I'm just envisioning a division on Monday Night Raw, really with those women at the centerfold. And, you know, when it comes to Rhea Ripley, we have talked about it time and time again. Forget the biggest star of the women's division. She's just one of the biggest stars in the company. And although an injury sucks, I don't want to say blessing in disguise because, again, like, no one wants to be injured, but it's only going to make Rhea Ripley that much bigger of a star when she returns and Rhea Ripley was basically already a baby face just still tied with the judgment day and Dominic and those were kind of her heel ties but at this point 90% of the crowd's cheering Rhea Ripley like let's just call it as it is she's not really going out there or wasn't really going out there acting like a heel Rhea Ripley kind of always ready to fight for the most part a lot of baby face tendencies so like when she comes back she's obviously going to be full-fledged uh baby face regardless of if the judgment day is still intact or not which most likely they won't be and i am just envisioning what could be like one of the greatest monday night raw closing segments of all time do you guys remember for my for my ruthless aggression historians out there you guys see some of the figures in the corner right there uh 2004 big shows on the shelf for a little bit uh i believe that what was the smackdown main event was it eddie and kurt angle was it Eddie and Kurt Angle or was John Cena involved in that? I don't remember. But there was a there was a SmackDown main event going on. It was a lumberjack matchup. So basically the whole roster was out there. Big show interrupts. Big show he's been gone for a couple of weeks now. Goes out there and just annihilates the entire Friday night SmackDown locker room. And Big Show maybe never looked cooler in his entire WWE run. If you don't know what I'm talking about, look it up on YouTube. Big Show SmackDown Return 2004, probably the first thing that comes up. I know one, you might be saying like, what the hell does that have to do with Rhea Ripley? I am just imagining this closing segment to roll, or maybe we're having a women's world championship match with Becky and Liv, or Liv and Lyra, or Becky and Io, whatever the case is, and eventually all of these women that I mentioned are out there. Becky, Liv, Lyra, Damage Control, maybe some other names, and it's just absolute chaos. The division is in uproar, all centered around the women's world championship. The match, whatever it is, gets thrown out, and it's just a brawl going on. Nobody can get disorder. Nobody can get order, I should say, until Rhea Ripley makes her return. And of course, I am talking hypothetically months from now, post SummerSlam, probably maybe sometime in the fall, whenever Rhea Ripley is going to be cleared and ready to go. And I can only imagine. The surprise pop that she is going to get when her music hits and she goes down to that ring and clears house. And of course, the last person she lays out being Liv Morgan. And even at that point, Dominic Mysterio might be in Liv Morgan's corner. He might be at ringside like, I can't believe what I just saw. And then getting that confrontation between Rhea and Dominic Mysterio. If I'm not painting the picture for you, again, go watch the Big Show thing from 2004 and then just picture everything I just talked about with Rhea and the women's division on Raw. And the things we could be heading towards, towards the back half of 2024. You know, I know Bianca Belair, Jade Cargill just winning the women's tag team titles. Obviously not going to lose them anytime soon, but I could definitely see a world where they lose the tag team titles either back to damage control or Becky Lynch and Lyra Valkyrie and then those two teams are going at it on Monday Night Raw. All the while, maybe we have Liv Morgan and Rhea Ripley picking up where their feud left off again in the back half of 2024 
for the Women's World Championship. I'm telling you right now, with those top stars of the women's division on Monday Night Raw, we're going to be eating good, as the kids say, for the rest of the year. But those are just my ideas. Those are just my thoughts on Rhea Ripley's inevitable return, Liv Morgan and Becky Lynch at King and Queen of the Ring, which again, I think is a very 50-50 match. My gut is telling me Becky Lynch, but also there's a side of me who could definitely see Liv Morgan winning that matchup. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. Who's leaving King and Queen of the Ring in just a couple of weeks as the Women's World Champion? But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe down below. And if you want to support just a little extra, hit that join button and become a Noah Nation Wrestling channel member. Thank you guys for checking out this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.